Hey guys, welcome to LI Edge. So it's absolutely beautiful right now. Look at the clouds up there. It's nice and warm. It's like 50 something degrees. So pretty out. Green trees and all the snow's melting. Everything's starting to get all muddy and whatever. But yeah, it's nice. A little bit of a breeze. But I'm working on a miserable job today uh, trying to fix our truck. <clears throat> the driveline U joints went out, so I'll head over to the shop. So, Ralphie, if you guys haven't seen Ralphie at Ralphie Customs, go check him out. And uh, he has this deal where he calls it a V log, and that's what I'm doing right now, doing a V log. So, this is our Chevy 2500 HD. And what happened is uh, the oil pressure just went, and uh, I got to change. Where the hell did it go? Oh, I put it back in the box. Oil sending unit. And then uh, I'll probably do a video on this. And uh, I'm going to use this one to pop the screen out of there underneath the oil sending unit. So that's one of the jobs. Speakers in the doors. Back door handle broke on that side. Back door handle broke on that side. Love how they make plastic door handles. What a joke that is. So I got those sitting here. Got to change those. And... Uh, U-joints, carrier bearing, had to cut it off with a grinder <clears throat> and knocking the U-joints out right now. So doing a V-log and uh, I'm gonna set up the tripod. Kind of cool in this shop this morning. Well, not this morning, it's like 2.30 right now, but it's finally starting to warm up because I had the heater on at like 70 degrees to get it to catch up. Um, been over in the body shop last couple days, three, four days, whatever it's been. So turn the heater way down over here and it's not freezing temperatures at night. So it's, you know, we could turn it all the way down to 55. But uh, if you guys haven't gone and checked out R Ralphie Knucklehead on YouTube, go check his channel out. It's awesome. And uh, another one that I want to mention is a good friend of mine, Terry, and it's Coverman66. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, he's... He's the guy to go to for LS wiring and LS, you know, the small lock Chevy LS motors, uh, just LS whatever. I mean, he's got some awesome stuff on there. Really good dude. Real good friends of ours. We're always texting and talking and boxing back and forth. But uh, Coverman66, awesome channel. Uh, Mill Creek Fab Shop. If you guys haven't checked out Joey Collins, go check his channel out. Give him some subs and whatever. And another really good channel. Um, you know, the guy's got one arm, but he's got big heart, so it makes up for it. You know, he's he's in there doing stuff. He does the same stuff that all of us guys do in this community with the fabrication, and he's doing it with one arm. And it's like it's nuts. You know, the guy just kicks ass. And like I said, he's got a huge heart. Guy's just you know, huge inspiration on YouTube and, and uh, outside of YouTube. But just a sweetheart, you know. And go check his channel out. Look at the trikes and stuff that he's building right now, all by hand. Everything's, you know, he's doing it all hand fabbed and whatever, doing a really, really nice job. And uh, the other channel is uh, DG Retro Customs. Um, he's doing, uh, you know, like right now he's he's working on trying to get another shop and stuff and, and going through a lot of mess right now. But I don't blame him. He's taking a little bit of time to clear his head, which is really cool. And so he's doing that and taking care of business. And then pretty soon he'll be in another shop but does some beautiful fabrication work and tool reviews and awesome channel so dg retro customs go check his channel out and somebody uh lewis martin i think it was said hey there's no links down below on the uh on the videos i don't know how to do that i mean i can but i don't have time and you know that's that's heidi's job so heidi will be putting links down below for these channels in the next couple days she'll probably be doing that tomorrow or tuesday i'm not sure yet actually tuesday the the electric's going to be out here they're turning the whole town off. They're fixing some electric here, and so that the power's gonna be out. Um, please go check out our other channel, which is Glenn Ridd, NZ Mopar. And NZ Mopar is uh, one of my best friends and uh, awesome guy. And he's doing some kick-ass fabrication and bodywork and just everything on his channel. And right now he's doing that 25 Studebaker, which is really gonna take off. He's gonna start doing a lot more work on it. I actually was just boxing him and talking to him and and texting them and whatever. And we are uh, you know, shooting some ideas back and forth and whatever. So he's, uh, his channel's gonna take off real, real quick too. And because of you guys and all the subs and the support, 
his channel's already gone up, you know, past 620 or whatever it was. And I, I haven't even looked at it lately. Um, another new channel that's going to be starting up the next couple days. And I want to start, you know, giving him shout outs now or whatever. So as soon as he pops his channel up and starts throwing some videos out there, I want to support his channel. And that's Michael Knight. And uh, he's a good friend of ours on uh, on YouTube and uh, Voxering and all that. And we're always just chit-chatting back and forth. And he's just a good dude, Michael Knight. And his channel should be out real soon. And uh, as soon as it does, I'll do a, a little video shout out, whatever, for his channel, whatever. But anyways, uh, not too much going on today. Just, I feel like crap. I got a freaking migraine and it's making me grouchy. So um, I'm trying to get these uh, U-Joints all knocked out of here, out of the truck. And instead of dinking around with these, uh, and um, you know, I'm not going to knock the caps out and stuff. I'm just going to take a grinder and cut the damn things off. So I'll set the camera up if you guys want to watch that. So, and if you don't, you don't have to. But uh, quick, fast way to knock you joints out of the truck, and you know, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm doing. But uh, I'll turn the camera off, get it all set up, and go from there. And one of our sponsors is Ron. I want to thank him for sending this badass. Uh, safety glasses and then we got some other safety glasses in the mail the other day we're going to be doing a shout out and stuff for the for that company so that's really cool and i want to say hi to spencer too spencer and ron hey guys before i start talking i'm gonna make sure i turn the damn camera on yep Sorry about the shaky camera right here. I want to put this so I don't get uh, sparks all over the damn uh, screen on the camera. So usually uh, there's a couple tricks with, with driveline U-joints and stuff, but if you're doing this stuff where you want to get it done quick, fast, hurry, don't even mess around with it. Knock, you know, don't, don't mess around with trying to knock these out of there and doing all this other crap. All I do is just take and Cut it with a grinder, smack it with a hammer, and knock it out of there. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Way faster. And this is gonna be pretty loud. So I'll spare you guys watching this and uh, the noise and I'll turn it off and then when I get, it, get ready to knock it out of there, I'll show you. So that took me like probably not even a minute. And then uh, the next step, just cut right through the drive line right here. See where that cap goes through. I don't think I cut them through enough, so I'll go ahead and whack on them a little bit more. But cut, them, cut on them a little bit more. Let me see how this side does. Yeah, I'll go ahead and cut a little bit more. So you can see I cut so I can tap on it enough where it can just pop off here. Take a socket the right size, stick it in there. I'll do the same thing here. Whack this out of there with a grinder, knock that out, knock that out, and then I'm ready to put the new U joints in. Easy peasy. 
All right, here's the next way you can do it. Now that I showed you with the grinder, I'll show you a quick way to bust these out of here super fast with just a hammer. Just take a smaller sledge or whatever, or ball peen, it doesn't matter, something with some heft to it, and you want to hit on these, uh, <clears throat> right where the caps go onto the end of the U-joints. Hopefully you guys can see that. Gonna be kind of loud. Wear safety glasses, don't be a dumbass. You see what happens here? That cap comes down. Now just do the same thing. Flip it over. Anybody see my socket? Ah. <clears throat> I just took a brass punch and pulled it out of the box, so. And there you go. Easy peasy. Anyways, the reason I'm doing this video is that, um, it seems like when people are doing drive lines, they always make a big deal out of it, big fuss out of it, and they make it like it's a big ass ordeal, you know? And uh, it's not, it's not that bad. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this drive line around, get the other yoke pulled off of it, and get that one busted off, and then. Uh, when Heidi gets back with parts, I'll put it back together. But anyways, uh, just a short video. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for your support. Hope you liked it. Leave a comment down below, thumbs up and all that good crap. And uh, hit the notification bell. Later. What are you doing? So we're trying to figure out a way to put a spacer on this cap to push it in the distance of this right here. So there's a 3 8 washer. And Heidi was like, why can't you put grease on it? And I'm like, there you go. Make it sticky, sort of, but not gluey. Oh, all about the lube. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> and then we use the fancy tool. What's that? Then we use the fancy tool. Yeah, here's a tool that I made a long time ago. You guys have seen me use this all the time. 3 8 uh, set up here. Schlick trick mick. Perfect. Winner. Now I just take this greasy ass washer out of here. And now you have to do it on the other side too. And see what I did? Is by doing that, now this is down enough where I can I'll get it in there just a little oh, bit more. For the for the cap for this guy. Yeah. See? Put oh, that in there. You're faster than me. Okay. So I'll put that in there and then this one will be ready to go. Let's do this side again. Can you knock that down there so it stays? <laughs> of course I can. There you go. And then all you gotta do is uh, push your U-joint over and it's not gonna come out of this because it, see the space is only like a quarter inch. Mm -hmm. any, any more than that and the little uh, bearings, see them right. all over the floor? <laughs> Yeah. They're everywhere from the old one. So then those bearings won't get pinched or jammed or whatever. And this is a way I do it. I know there's a million other ways people do it, but. I think it's like anything though. Everybody's got their little. Yeah, everybody's got a cool, cool little trick to do. Okay, so. so you should have enough sticky stuff on that washer then. No, I won't even need the washer now. Oh, you won't because no. it'll sunk and it'll just do automatically sink again. Okay. And I'll take this dude. Man, I think. <laughs> Locked up. You make my brain. Hurt. No, I gotta do. Let's 
take this. Okay, though, you can't. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna ask a Supergirl question. Come on, real. So you can't use the washer. You're like to sink the phone, crazy woman. Oh, sorry. That's I what I do. What now? You can't put the washer in there just to countersink that one too. Oh well, yeah, you could, but it's faster with a hammer. I, I like playing with hammers. <laughs> no kidding. He's making too much noise, and you guys can't hear me laughing. <laughs> Ironically, he wants to use a hammer. <laughs> my favorite hammer. One of them. One of my favorite 10,000 hands. You don't have 10,000, do you? Not yet, I'm working on it. Okay. Now I just gotta get this, but the problem is my hands are so damn greasy right now. I think I got it. Yep, I got it. Flip that over. It's gonna be loud, watch your ears. It's gonna take a second for the damn camera to adjust for the sound so mm. there you know it's gonna work because I'm standing there with the screwdriver ready grab your uh, chisel slash screwdriver oh, dear. and then what I do is I take the same socket and I sink it flip it sink it and it's ready to go in the truck Show me how. Oh, you can't. Mm -hmm. Never mind. It's how, how it's hard at first and then it's easy. Never mind. See how it's real tight now? Yeah. No. Flip it back over and see how this one's sticking out a little bit? Right here. Mm -hmm. Tap it just a little bit. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that does not sound like a little bit. Anyways, it's done. We're ready to go in the truck now, so. Don't you have to put the lubrication in there? Oh yeah, thank you. You're right welcome. It's my truck. It's Ooh, my truck. Up. I want it perfect. She's the worst customer. The worst customer. I am. He broke a clip on my door panel and I about had a conniption. But look, my, my pilot is driving right now. God. I can't wait to get my truck detailed. <laughs> She's passed out. <laughs> she is. Lily's the bomb. All right. Anyways, we're out of here. Turn that thing off. Thank you. Hey, guys. Well, it's, uh, it was a long day. We got Heidi's truck all fixed, got the drive line put back in it, all new U-joints, carrier bearing, change the oil, change the speakers in the doors, uh, new door handles, uh, new headlights, um, just a whole big list of stuff. It's just been stuff that that's been bugging the heck out of us, and we wanted to get it fixed, and... So she went to Grand Rapids today and picked up a bunch of parts and came back while I worked on the truck. And then, uh, sorry, I got a cough drop in my mouth. And then uh, that was about it. You know, blasted it out. And uh, it's it's like, uh, I think it's getting close to 930 right now. So I'm going to head home and have something to snack on and probably crash out. So, but uh, anyways, I'll, I'll talk to you guys uh, sometime tomorrow. Thanks for watching.